Welcome back to Switch to Linux. Well, Christmas is right around the corner and we're about to get a nice Christmas present from the Linux Mint team. The next version of Linux Mint 21.3 is right around the corner and uh, I usually cover the Linux Mint news and so I wanted to go ahead and dive into that and we were late almost a week on that and I think because they had anticipated having the beta out by now but they did have a few issues in their schedule and so uh, because they had a few issues in the schedule, they uh, are running it all through QA testing right now. And then we will get that out, they said, probably within the week. So let's see what is new. It's a fairly small update today, uh, but uh, they do have the Linux Mint 21.3 is coming down the pipeline. They're currently in QA, and as soon as they are done with QA, they will release the betas, and then we'll usually have about two weeks or so, and then we should get the Linux Mint 21.3 official release probably right around Christmas time. So uh, the beta release is expected this week. Of course, it is Thursday when I'm reporting uh, recording this. Uh, this news clip came out yesterday. So we do have a few new features that were not previously announced, and these are actually pretty cool. Nemo Actions. So these are things that you can add into the context menu. So for an ISO image, you can just right-click it and make a bootable USB stick. Um, you can also right-click it and verify it. So there is the action is the calculate SHA-256 sum, which you used to do, and I've had videos about how to verify a download in the past, by going in and uh, you go into the terminal and you run your SHA-256 sum of the file name, that spits out a number and then you compare that to the number that they give you for the, uh, for the, the hash of that particular file. Well, now Nemo can do a variety of different actions inside of this. This is amazing. This is like right-click context menu things. So here are some of the initial ones. Uh, the calculate 256 sum, the system monitor, so we can access the system monitor from the context menu. Um, restart cinnamon, send a file as an attachment, send a file to a printer, uh, send with KDE Connect, and open up system settings. So you can add various actions and these will effectively work like spices. So this will open the community up to being able to add additional menus that you can do with inside uh, the, the Nemo system here. And so that's actually really amazing. I like this. Of course, the next huge thing we're going to get is the initial alpha testing of Wayland. Now, they are not replacing Xorg because Linux Mint has chosen to stick with Xorg because it still works. Regardless of if you think it is a Frankenstein's monster, a walking zombie ready for a two-tap, the fact of the matter is X still works everywhere. Regardless of it being a giant patchwork of code, it still works. And they see that, yeah, Wayland might make things a little bit more streamlined down the road a little bit better, but for now, Wayland is is not completely ready for prime time. There are some issues with it, and they are slowly working on that. X is still the priority, but you can go on the login screen now. You can choose Wayland in order to uh, in order to um, uh, try out the Wayland stuff. They have a uh, very specific spot on their GitHub account, GitHub dot com slash Linux Linux Mint slash Wayland for any bugs that you happen to find. If you are a Wayland advocate and you really want to help move this along, you can go ahead and use Wayland and report any bugs into there. So they might need fixed in the Cinnamon, XAP project, Mint tool, or whatever else. Anything related to Wayland goes to this one spot. Of course, the last bit of news is related to that dreaded H word program that we can't talk on about on YouTube. At least I can't because, you know, that whole targeted creator type thing. I Yes, I have gotten community strikes for talking about this particular program, the mere fact of its existence. So, you know, we will tread lightly, but uh, there are a bunch of new features. One of these features is the ability to add in a new um, uh, a favorites channel. So if there's some channel that you have a URL to that um, is not in the system already, you can go ahead and create this and it will appear in your feed. And you can look at the previous ones to see the other amazing H word changes that they have made to the platform. And this, the login screen, the slick greeter login screen, now you can align the login box. You can configure where all that is. 
And there is uh, the patch file renaming tool receives support for thumbnails and drag and drop. So if you use that uh, patch, the, the bulk file renamer, which I think was in, it was in Cinnamon and I think it was also in Mate. And they did not include it in, in XFCE because XFCE has already has one of those. So they just use the native one. And Pix Video Playback now takes video orientation to account and automatically rotates out of orientation um, videos inside of Pix. So that is some amazing new updates and uh, we're expecting this in the next couple days. Hopefully it comes in the next day or two. It'd be beautiful if I could talk about this as my Saturday video. We don't know yet. It's going to depend on when it comes out. Will we actually see it and will we have the ability to uh, have a look at it? But uh, there is the updates from the Linux Mint team. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comments down below. And stay tuned. That beta will release soon. And I will get that beta as soon as I possibly can so we can have a look at uh, what it looks like. With that, thanks for watching. And I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux. Thank you for watching this video from Switched to Linux. This channel would not be possible without the backing of the program supporters scrolling on the screen now. You can be a supporter at Patreon at patreon.com slash T-O-M-M or at thinklifemedia.com. I also want to thank the open source community who creates such excellent software that makes producing this show possible. Please remember to support your software communities. Thank you, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.